wrong is wrong whether you have on blue jeans or blue uniforms. We begin tonight in BB. Hundreds gathering at BB High School today for the funeral of 17 year old Hunter Britton. Britton was shot and killed by a Lono County deputy nearly two weeks ago during a traffic stop. Today, Reverend Al Sharpton leading the eulogy for Hunter Britton, calling for the community to come together. I don't care who you are, who you support, all of us want to see our children come home at night safe and protected. The Lono County deputy who shot Britton has since been fired for not turning on his body camera until after the shooting. Following the memorial service, supporters and speakers headed back to Lone Oak, where for nearly two weeks they protested at the Lone Oak County Sheriff's Office. Tonight's gathering, though, was different. Katrin Asaf is live in Lone Oak tonight. And Katrin, who attended today's rally? This was definitely one of the larger gatherings that we've seen since Hunter Britton's death. Those that previously attended the memorial service earlier in the day, including friends and family, his legal team and members of the NAACP also attended the rally in the afternoon, as well as those who just came out to show their support. They say this is just the start, and they want to make sure that Hunter's name is not forgotten. Traffic stop! Traffic stop. Should not! A cry for justice. Yeah. As supporters from across the state gathered in Lone Oak to say goodbye and push towards change. Following the memorial service of 17 year old Hunter Britton, protesters gathered at the Lone Oak County Sheriff's Office. The same scene for the past two weeks. But today was different. We're here to make sure that the victim's family uh, is uh, taken care of as far as any rights that they have. Hunter's family and friends were joined by the NAACP, who said they condemn all acts of police violence, regardless of race. The big push today decertifies Sergeant Michael Davis. He can go to any other sheriff's office uh, throughout the uh, state of Arkansas or any other police department. Hunter's legal team also supported the creation of Hunter's Law, a bill that would mandate body cameras and require them to be turned on for the duration of a shift. Attorney Benjamin Crump said it's vital to vote in Hunter's place. Hunter was 17 years old. Hunter will never get to vote. Along with the collection of nationally renowned speakers, Hunter's friends and family used this rally to remember a life gone too soon. And that's why there's so many here, because he touched so many lives at such an early age. A kind soul and a friend that looked out for others. We would always sit together and talk, and then if there's boys that came up to us, he would, he would stick up for me. Now Hunter's name is one more in the list of Arkansans killed by law enforcement. They mentioned the 44 or 46 on the list. That's too many, too many babies being lost. But the only way to justice, stand up and fight for change. Now, in terms of that decertification, the Lono County Sheriff John Staley will have until July 9th to file that. That's this Friday. And in terms of Hunter's Law, supporters still need to gather thousands of signatures for that to move forward. Right now, that is the effort that they are backing up. Reporting in Lono County, I'm Kate Renee Saf. Back to you, Laura. Kate